Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, oh, the name of the channel, my name is Mold, and I wanted to come on here to just give you guys tips on how to start it. Before we go any further, forgive the gorgeous hair, forgive it, and the lack of makeup. I mean, I'm just trying to make it out of this pandemic alive. So a girl can't even visit us alone, hey? Mm -mm. I'm so scared of this coronavirus thing. So it's just me at home, stuck with my work, mm, social distancing, and also serving my clients. Ah, right. So, uh, as you might know, or might not know, I started on my own for two years. After grade seven, I couldn't find money for school, so started from home, and then got my phone for starting from home. So I know a thing or two about starting from home or being stuck at home, right? But disclaimer, I do not know how to study during a pandemic. It's my first pandemic. Yeah, it's my first pandemic, and I do not know a thing about surviving a pandemic. I'm also just trying to be able to tell the story at the other end. I don't know about that, but I do know how to study from home. So don't be putting yourself under so much pressure to achieve a lot of things this pandemic. No, excuse me. I'm just trying to survive. We're not home by choice. We're not home because we like our homes. We're not home because um, we don't have bus money to go into town or whatever it's called, bus fare. We are home because there is a pandemic out there. So that already is stressful. So don't be putting yourself under so much pressure to accomplish a lot, to learn a new skill. Oh no, surviving this is enough. I mean, but what made me make this video is that there's so much uncertainty and it's uncharted waters. We all don't know what's going to happen. We still do not have words on where the schools are going to open. Schools are not going to open. There are people who wanted to write their exams in June and some people are going to write their exams in November. I'm not so hopeful of those writing in June whether they're still going to write because it really would not be fair for those people who are out there in the rural areas who don't have access to anything, any type of school or study material or anything like those in the urban areas do. So... I'm not as hopeful that those June exams be, will be written, but for those in November, probably you might write. So it's also good to keep yourself uh, up to speed and so that you don't rust, your brain doesn't rust. So that um, you just keep yourself in shape in terms of schoolwork. So I just came on here to just give you tips on how you can start from home because you and me have one thing in common because we're not. You're stuck at home, and I was stuck at home too, and I had to make this thing work right. So, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is number one create a routine. So, I have figured out that I'm not a machine, probably you are, but I'm not a machine, so I can't just wake up and say, Okay, now I'm going to study, and then boom, I'm in level 100 concentration. No, it has to be a build up. It has to be a build up. Say, so, okay, I'm going to start studying at four. So I start preparing my mental step, my other steps to actually be ready for that. So when I have a routine, it makes it so much easier to say that um, I'm going to study at four. So my mind by the time four comes if four works for your schedule if four works for your family and your commitments at home they say you, you you decide to start at four if you decide that you're going to work at four then your mind is already in a mood of you're already in a mode of i want to work other than i'm just coming now coming back from playing and then i'm just going straight to go into my study that doesn't work for me so i had a routine so i would also advise you to create a routine create one that works for you because i'm not going through the thing that you're going through you're not going through the thing that i was going through so you would never would never be on the same page on what works but create one for you right then the second thing for me that worked was number two is to to study in the morning right so i used to study in the morning at i would wake up at three so my brother used to tell me that going to bed early and waking up early makes a man wiser healthier and wealthier that was one thing that he used to say around the house even my who knows this my little brother so 
I would study early in the morning because one, I come from an African household. Nobody is exempt from doing, uh, going to, 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 to fetch water. Nobody is exempt from uh, fetching firewood. Nobody was exempt from cooking, from cleaning. All I didn't find doing that. So nobody was exempt from going to the field. So if you try to schedule your own time to say that you're going to study from 7 a.m., you're being fancy. If that's time to go to the field, sweetie, you're going to go to the field. So in an African household, we don't have our own rooms. We don't have um, the poor ones. We don't have all the average ones. We don't have our own rooms. You don't have um, the liberty of creating your own schedule to go to your room, to put a do not disturb sign on that door. Honey, you'll be dead. So start in the morning before everybody else wakes up. So even when you're not in a pandemic, working in the morning, I found out that working in the morning or doing things that require my maximum concentration in the morning works better for me because I do not have disturbances. Nobody really wakes up at 3 a.m. to chat me up about things that are not emergencies or things that are not adding value hmm, that would be very weird for somebody to be texting me at 3 a.m then at 3 a.m still fresh you know i still have the energy just came back from resting i still have all this energy to give to myself in my future so i could also actually concentrate in the morning so it became so such that every 3 a.m i would be up whether i had work or i did not have work then i would actually make a conscious decision to actually say no no i'm going to go and sleep go back to sleep but my body would actually wake up because one i had a routine where i would wake up every day at 3 a.m and then two i liked to study in the morning so you don't have disturbance even if let's say you're sharing a room with your siblings nobody really is up at 3 a.m so you can actually get up and actually sit up and actually study or do whatever you need to do and read at 3 a.m so don't let them fool you you can study at um 3 a.m that makes work really well for me but for some people it actually doesn't work because some people actually work better in the evening so you just have to figure yourself out but for me in the morning worked best because there were no disturbances and also i was really fresh so i could actually concentrate then the th um, the third thing would be to create a to-do list i used this when i was also studying for my cta which was like post-grad i created a to-do list so um i figured out my subject that I had, um, I was having a bit of a hard time, and then I actually broke down the subject into topics, and then I gave myself time to say, I'm going to be doing IS1 on this day, I'm going to do this other standard on this day, and then this other standard on this day. Um, so it worked for me creating a to-do list and it also makes you feel really good after when you're actually now just ticking things off to say you know what i'm going to do this i'm going to do that i'm going to do that and then it also helps you keep track of what you still need to do so creating a to-do list what the wonders like really what times what is for me then the third thing would be to study in intervals do not make the mistake of being too focused I, I would think of saying i'm going to study for six hours straight you know what my other name is mrs focus i'm going to study six hours straight nobody disturb me honey that doesn't work because you're human take it out in stages like Put up topics, you know what, if I'm going to do psychogeometry, I'm going to cover concepts 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to sit back, I'm going to relax. Or if you don't want to relax, let's say it's during this peak time, which is 3 to probably 6, 3, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Peak time, where your concentration is on point, your disturbances are at zero, so it's time for you to actually study. So what you can actually do is to say... I'm going to study psychogeometry for an hour and then after that I'm going to go out to English and then I'm going to register to do registers and then after that I'm going to leave that I'm going to go to study geography so that you don't you're not on one thing for too long because that never really worked for me then the other thing that you can actually do is active study by active study you mean you don't read a book like this no you actually need to be taking the notes that's active study so you have your pen you have your pad uh your writing pad where you're writing whatever you're learning and i've never so i was never really a fan of uh saying uh 
please write those notes for me and then I'll read them later. No, I preferred to actually write the notes for myself because then as I'm writing them, I'm actually studying and I'm actually internalizing. I told myself, as I am studying and writing things down, I'm actually writing them down in my mind, if there's something like that. Right, so I would actually study um, actively. I like studying actively uh, to be writing things down, you know, and um, yeah, basically, don't be studying a book. Don't be studying. There's a difference between studying uh, coronavirus and reading about coronavirus in the news. So reading about coronavirus in the news, you're just reading, you know what, for information purposes. But for exam purposes, you're going to need to internalize that. So you need to actually have somewhere where you're actually writing it down so that it actually sticks with you, right? Then the other thing, the final thing that I would actually uh, advise you guys to do is to actually switch things up don't be boring don't be too serious okay i might actually be boring but i also get bored so easily so if i have to study from the same kitchen corner every day and i'm at home so this is the same kitchen we're eating in and then i'm going to study in there every day it affects, I would feel like weak in my joints every time I felt like about starting. So, switch it up. Sit on the floor one day. It's not about having a whole room study room like dedicated to you and your studies, how special you are, special child. No, you can actually sit on the, on the floor as you're studying. Then the next day, sit on your bed. The next day, go study in the other room. Make it fun. Make it interesting so that you also don't create this whole vibe of Oh, it's that time. You have already created that by having a routine to say, I'm going to study every day at three. So you don't want to add on to that by saying, I'm going to study in the same place. Now, probably for some people, familiar places work best. But for me, even now with work, sometimes I work from here. Sometimes I'm working from the other room. It just helps me spice it up and rejuvenate, jumpstart my mind. So those are the sad tips that I had for you today. Um, those are the ones that I could think of on top of my head um, when I thought about all oh, schools are not opening it's not clear whether schools are opening or not so if I think of anything else I'll probably do a Facebook post or an Instagram post so make sure you follow me on Facebook and on Instagram but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something please sound off in the comment section before and if you like this below and if you <laughs> like this video please please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you keep on getting more content as it comes as i hope to i hope to bring it as more content till next time bye 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 thank you for stopping bye oh that was actually a bar